Apparently, Jalen Carter just won't make it past the Bears at number nine. All right, basically, the Bears are going to take him if he falls to them at nine. Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Fast Force Talk back at it with another video talking. Of course, I'm going to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, please do hit the big red subscribe button down below. I appreciate the support. Hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, so I've got some new news and intel for you guys. Before I share that with you, just real quick, I just want to say, look, I know I'm giving you guys like these uh, daily kind of updates. Maybe sometimes they could seem a little repetitive, but I promise you, uh, you know, in the end, you'll see the value of it because I did this around, you know, the time where the Bears traded away the number one overall pick. And I kept giving you guys these updates every day about, hey, uh, I'm hearing now it's going to be Indy or I'm hearing the Texans. And then here's the latest. It's the Panthers. And then boom. It's the Panthers who trade with the Bears for the number one overall pick. So these things are fluid. The news, the rumors change every day. So I'm giving you guys and keeping you guys updated on the latest and greatest. So just wanted to let you guys know that, um, you know, in case you guys were wondering, Fies, like you're giving us updates every day. That's the reason why. And of course, I love doing this for you guys. So with that being said, let's get into it. So uh, according to Matt Miller of ESPN, uh, he is saying, he's a reporter for ESPN, an NFL draft analyst uh, for ESPN. He is saying that he's heard that Jalen Carter will not fall past the Bears at number nine. Now, I've talked about this before, and I've mentioned this before, but why is this relevant now? Because <clears throat> there are some other sort of, uh, you know, reports coming out that Jalen Carter's draft stock Basically, that hit that we thought it was going to take, not going to be uh, that much anymore. Basically, like a lot of teams are not going to let him pa go past 10. We're hearing the Eagles being interested in him, Seattle interested in him, and of course, Chicago interested in him. So much so that, you know, if the Bears get him at, if he's there at number nine, maybe for Chicago or right before, the Eagles at 10 could jump the Bears to try to get Jalen Carter. Like, his value's starting to shoot back up again, all right? And so here's another interesting tidbit here. Uh, Josh Norris, who's actually a fantasy um, draft, excuse me, who's a fantasy football analyst. He's not even uh, a, an NFL real-life analyst, fantasy football analyst. He did a mock draft, which was interesting, and he had the Bears trading up, okay, trading up to get Jalen Carter, like trading with the Raiders at seven. Right, they would give up the nine and the one hundred three to trade up for the seven and two hundred four. So this is the extent it has gotten to people where it's not even like let Jalen Carter fall to us. Oh no, we're gonna go ahead and trade up to get Jalen Carter. All right, here's where I'm at. I, I don't see it. I think that's very unlikely that we trade up for Jalen Carter. I know that uh, you know in terms of a blue chipper, in terms of a uh, talent and a can't miss prospect from a talent perspective. Jalen Carter checks those boxes, but those red flags are still there, folks. Nothing's a guarantee here, but you know, if I'm afraid that a guy could turn into the next Albert Hainsworth because of his red flags, you know, I'm, I'm hesitating. All right, this isn't a lock, this is just not. And so, yeah, no, I don't see the Bears trading up. That's first and foremost. And second, um, you know him not falling past the Bears at nine, certainly I could see that because you're getting good value for a guy who was projected to be a top four pick. I mean, remember, early in draft season, it was Jalen Carter or Will Anderson. And it was when the Bears had the number one pick, you could literally legitimately take these guys at number one. So having him drop to nine and taking him there, it's still value. I wouldn't do it. I'd still take the safer route, but it's still value. All right? That's way better than trading up. Here's the other sort of interesting tidbit that I also saw. So GM, former GM of the Minnesota Vikings, Rick Spielman, uh, did this video, I think, uh, for the website, the 33rd team. And he said that he would be concerned about drafting Jalen Carter because on tape, Jalen Carter does not go hard every single play. And also he is worried about the resources a team would have to dedicate to Jalen Carter to make sure that he stays on the right path. I think those are valid points, right? Jalen Carter's issues uh, stem from a lot of work ethics, right? We saw at the pro day, he wasn't ready. He didn't come in shape. He gained weight, actually, and he wasn't, you know, a professional about it. That's an issue. That's a, that's a work ethic issue. That's, a, that's a, a professionalism issue. And then also, 
dedicating resources yeah you probably will have to do that as a team hey you guys got to make sure that he stays on the right path don't let him you know um get off of the right path and, and get on the wrong one because you know we've invested so much in him and again it goes back to the investment you investing the number nine overall pick a top 10 pick in a guy is way different than you investing a fifth round pick in him or a fourth round pick in him it's just worlds apart the reason i wouldn't take carter at nine is because i'm not willing to take that risk personally me not willing to take that risk when i can get a guy who I feel way safer about that I think has just as good of a chance to pan out. Maybe he doesn't have that as much talent as Carter. But again, talent only takes you so far. You need hard work to go along with it. I would much rather go the safer route uh, and take uh, another guy, maybe an offensive lineman I've mentioned, obviously. But if you do take Jalen Carter at nine, just know you will have to probably dedicate some resources to watching him. And you will also have to make sure that, you know, he stays on the right track. And uh, the character concerns, the, the work ethic issues, all of those aren't going to go away. But you have to work at it. All right. It could totally work out. And Jalen Carter has arguably the most talent in this draft. And you will have a defensive lineman uh, who's going to wreck other teams offensive line for years to come. And it could be a fantastic pick. But. It could also be a complete bust, a la Albert Hainsworth. So that's what I'm saying. Just be careful. I'm not taking that risk if I'm Ryan Poles, but he's the GM. I'm not. Let's see what he does about it. But Jalen Carter apparently is not making past the Bears at nine. And in fact, we got Mox now trading up to get Jalen Carter. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching.